Bonjour! Hello, it's Anders Ericsson. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a French 75. Welcome back. Okay, so the French 75. Uh, this is a cocktail that's named after a French field gun that was used in the First World War. So you might find it funny that I think of this cocktail as the most celebratory drink of them all. It can be prepared two ways based on the base spirit. You can have it with gin or cognac. I've got customers that drink both and insist that their choice of spirit is what's right. In truth, the original recipe in the 1920s called for gin, but by the 1940s, cognac was commonly used. But honestly, they're both delicious, and in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make both of them today, so you decide which one you like better, and let your friends pick which ones they liked better. <laughs> let people like what they like! To the bar! Okay, here we go. This cocktail is gonna be shaken, so you're gonna need your Boston shaker, a jigger, Hawthorne strainer, and I have a channel knife for garnishing. We'll get into that later. Now booze. You're gonna need gin, or cognac, sparkling wine, lemon juice, freshly squeezed, and simple syrup. The gin I'm using is Plymouth Gin, the cognac is Maison Rouge VSOP, and the sparkling wine is Cremant Brugon Brut by La Maison du, La Maison du Cremant. I think I'm saying that right. It's a French sparkling wine. You don't have to go too expensive on this. Um, just a nice, dry, sparkling wine works. You could use Prosecco, Cava, it doesn't matter. Good. Also, I have a champagne flute that I'll be serving this in. Two champagne flutes, because I'm gonna make one with cognac and one with gin. But traditionally, this would be served on the rocks in a Collins glass. In fact, there are some bartenders that insist that that's how it should be served, rather than a flute. I think you should serve it in whatever glass you want, because cocktails are meant to be fun, and I wanna serve it in a champagne flute. It's festive and cheery. Before I do anything else, I always like to pour some sparkling wine into the champagne flute first. I pour about two ounces of sparkling wine uh, because the shaken ingredients are gonna be heavier and when you pour them on top, it'll fall through and blend together really nicely. Now we can go ahead and open our bottle of bubbles. Uh, if you've done that before and you know how to open a bottle of champagne or sparkling wine, that's great. If you don't, please be careful. Don't point this at anybody because you could take out an eye. Uh, also, if your bottle is chilled, it's less likely to explode than when it's warm. So have a chilled bottle of bubbles. Here, I'm pointing at my own face. This is not how to do it. The trick is to make not a whole lot of noise. That was a little loud. Sorry, if you're a connoisseur, you might be cringing. But hey, nobody lost an eye. So we can go ahead and pour two ounces of sparkling wine into the flutes. Which on these glasses, it's gonna be about that much. <laughs> if you have a larger glass, you could pour three ounces. It's still gonna be okay. Ta-da! There, now we can go ahead and build the cocktail. My hair is getting out of control. First, I'm gonna make a gin for 75. So we want one ounce of gin. Half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. and another half ounce of simple syrup. Now I can build the cognac for M75, which the ratios are gonna be exactly the same. Just swap out cognac for the gin. So same thing. I'm just gonna quickly put this together. The ratio works out to be two parts spirit, one part lemon, and one part simple syrup, and then four parts sparkling wine. So two, one, one, four. I'm gonna go get ice, and we can chill these. Don't go anywhere. Oops. Let's shake. It's really loud with two small spaces. When you pour it on top, it could foam up and spill over, which has happened to me numerous times. So just gently pour it in on the side, right on top. If it comes a little short, just top it off with a little bit more sparkling wine. <laughs> okay. All right, so take a lemon. You want room temperature lemons for zesting because the rind is just more pliable, especially for a long, silly <laughs> twist like this. Start at the top and work your way around the edge of the lemon. 
Like yeah. this way? Right, hold it firmly with your left hand and just start. Oh. oh. There you go. I'm following the, the yeah. line, right? Follow the line and the. It's. Oh, it's spraying a lot of lemon stuff. The key to remember is having pressure on the lemon while you do this. As soon as you let up, it's gonna wanna break. That's probably good. No, a little I, bit, little I bit can't more, be shorter more. than yours. That's pretty, pretty good. Look at that. Oh, there you oh. go. No, that's okay. That's, so while you did that, I tightened up the curl. So it looks like an old fashioned telephone cord. Just... I remember those. I do remember those. I remember those. Wait, how did you do that now? So start with one end and then you just. Oh, you're like manually. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to try. For the whole thing? Well, you're the one who made it really long. <laughs> you don't have to. You I can... didn't understand the whole process. That's okay. No, I'm going to do okay. it. I'm going to do it. It's okay. I'm going to do it. We can cut this part. It's really fine. We can make it look like it, yeah, it we'll... didn't take that long. And then kind of stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Drop it right in and leave some hanging over like that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh no. There, we fix it. <laughs> I thought it would stay. No, don't, don't, don't. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to yeah. cut it. No, no, no. Yours is neater. <laughs> yeah, but yours is fun. Look how fun yours yeah, is. Yeah, mine's definitely more fun. And I, quite honestly, when I drink these, I end up taking the garnish out because it just, but it just looks so festive. That's it. French 75. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy graduation. Happy graduation. Happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, right, you gotta do this thing. Um, mm. That's pretty good. Mm. I honestly do not have a favorite between these two. Depends on my mood. This could be more of like a fall, winter French 75, yeah. and this would be more spring, summer. I think I'd prefer this in the summertime. But they're both delicious. This yeah, one's right? different. It's a nice different an option to have. Yeah. This is the uh, <laughs> the other side of the camera. Yeah, maybe I should go back. To no, no, the no, camera. no. I think I don't think I belong here. Well, at this point, it would just look like I'm drinking two cocktails. And this makes more sense, I think. It is totally nerve wracking being on this side. <laughs> there. I didn't think it would be, but then it was. I know. You look and at, into the camera and you think, am I going crazy? There's, Maybe. Is there anybody it's there? It's weird to talk to nothing. All of you are wonderful. No, you're, yeah, you are yeah. there. We know that you're there, but usually I'm, I'm behind the camera and so. Yeah. And so I've got to deal with this on my own. <laughs> to uh... infinity and beyond. Mm. Okay, so do we stop now? Or? I guess we stop. Okay, we, we're gonna stop now. Bye. Bye. <gasps>